You wanna pop a squat, golden boy? You're making me nervous. Or perhaps your nerves need gnawing. What did I do? This precarious plan proves more meek by the moment. The Madonna was meant to be among us. She knows what she's doing. Eventually. What sorry sins I have wrought to rest me among such a motley crew. Did he? Did he take my room? Not so much as a yip from the mud. Brute says he'll keep trying. Where's Mr. Fancy Words? He has assumed Peter Quill's quarters. It was a daring display of dominance. Don't you start. Usually I'd say who needs him, but we do. So you better fix this one, Quill. Just try not to piss him off any more than he already is. If it is to be a fight to the death, I will honor the outcome. If he kills you, I get your guns. Wouldn't bet on Peter winning that fight. It took all five of us to beat him last time. I still can't believe he caught one of my smart bombs. Just like that. We have already fought the man. Hold on. You don't remember? I remember sparring against the Celestial Madonna in a small village. In the cold darkness of the promise devouring my soul. Until you found me. Yeah, you missed a lot. Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her home world? Mantis will tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Mickey. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. She's one of the few people I know I can trust. Really? She freaks me out. Because she's smarter than you? And kinder. Hey, that nickname makes my skin crawl. I'm furry, not fuzzy. Not even that little. Hey, Quill. You seem like you're in a good mood. Uh, do I? I've got a great idea for a new blaster extension. Can't wait to put it together. Do you have a minute to fix my stuff, too? Sure. Be right there, you impatient flark snuffle. One fine tech upgrade, hot and fresh. Oof, got a crick in my back because of that. All set. Tell me if you need anything else fixed up. Well, now that the gang's back together and we've got a minute to breathe, I think you deserve an official thank you for what you did on Lamentis. <laughs> Quill, I, uh... I know you don't like that kind of sappy stuff, but I really mean it. Knowing about the crap those scientists did to you, not only does it make my blood boil, it puts everything into perspective. Oh, come on, it was just a puddle. I don't know if I could have gotten over something like that. You saved their lives, man. You deserve a bit of praise. Rodin saved your lives, and scientists were involved. I have many questions. Yeah, we'll save them for the next time we all get a drink together, buddy. Did you just... You have closed the refrigerator door. Yeah, I do that sometimes. I thought I was the only one who ever bothered. I thought I was the only one. I observed the tree closing at once. Glad you're back on our side, Drax. I got a feeling we'll need to go full destroyer on this one. I should be ready, Peter Quill. I have witnessed the threat posed by Magus firsthand. No one should suffer from its malignant lies. I owe all of you a great debt of gratitude. It would be my honor to fight beside you with all of my might. That's a lot of might. <laughs> Groot agrees with you, Muscles. Sounds like we've got ourselves a nice church butt-kicking party. I don't think that's where Golden Boy went to. He's in your cabin if you're looking for him, Peter. I know, I know. Hey, that one's from Lamentis. Does that mean it's a sacred plant? Groot, did you steal a sacred plant from Lamentis? Hey, Warlock, open.
open up. This is my room, you know. And that would be my cassette cover. You pen this pithy poetry? It's not poetry, it's music. Hard rock. It's supposed to have guitars and bass and drums. Simplistic scriptures, as is its scribe. Okay, what's your deal, man? What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? My meager what? Your meager metal. We stand against an adversary unlike any before. Blinded by burning, hope-fueled hate. Magus, right, your evil twin. That's our adversary. Before such a blaze, still a stooge may steer. But your wide-eyed wonder is merely wit and moxie. You strut as an insecure cock uncertain of his stature. Does that mean what I think it means? This audacity acts as stilts on sand as the tide thralls you in. Leading must be wrought off the fullness of your yearning yoke. Will it be so? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That I'll be decisive and... and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. What about you, Mr. Fancy Words? How do I know you won't see Raker and have a change of heart? Why would I weasel away? Didn't you used to be best buds with him? We were common company for a fleeting fallow, through which I witnessed the incommensurable extent of his sadness. He mourns his lost son. That's why he's doing all of this. The church, the matriarch? Because he wants to get his kid back. But that can't happen, right? Magus can't... No. Cannot. So? We can count on you? When you reunite with Raker, that man's gotta go down. Indubitably. So, how is he? Frustrating. It's like talking to Suzanne Harris at the summer dance all over again. Ain't that the Humi girl you tried to impress with your yo-yo skills? Yeah, and it went about as well as talking to Mr. Cape. What's a yo-yo? Did you reach Cosmo? It may be up to us to stop the church in nowhere. You ready? I am Groot. He's worried about the mutt. Says it will be easier with his help. I didn't think Cosmo would let the church take over his station. But if they got the Cortex, then... He is but one canine against the army of the Converted. That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. It's 
If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. We thank the matriarch for her gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land at the spaceport. Regiments, while we wait, whistling in the wings. Landing as fast as I can, go. What the flark? Great, cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now. He is a man of action. Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. So, final showdown against Raker. This time, you'll get him for good. I intend to. We're not leaving here without Nikki. Just so you know, I'll do everything I can to save your girl. I, I know it's important to you. You take care of the Milano, okay? Make sure the ship's still here when we come back. Ready, Drax? I am. My blades are as sharp as the rodent's tongue. Was that a metaphor? It was a simile. Just wanted to make sure you didn't have any lingering effects from the promise. I know the evil it conceals. Magus and the church must be stopped. So, what happens if we find Goldie, but he's all beat up? Then we place him in a safe location until we can tend to his wounds. I think he means what if he's dead. Yeah, that. Then we place him in a safe location until we can give him a proper burial. I am Groot. Groot wants you to know he'll do all he can to save your kid. You know what? I think I kind of understood that. I am Groot. Same here. Can't wait to whoop some robe flarkers. Your kid sure got herself in a deep quill. Her mom died, man. If Warlock's telling the truth, that thing inside her is using Corel's death to manipulate her. I get it. Ain't gonna be easy getting her out of there, but I'll die trying. Gotta make the flarkers pay for what they did to nowhere. And Contraxia. And all the killing and converting and stuff. Let's do this. Time to save Nikki. Peter. Okay. Just be cool. Let me handle these guys. Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. One without death, or pain, or fear. You should know this. Weren't you vetted and cleared to land here? What? Of course we were. 
How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Wacko's better prey their new world comes without death or pain or fear. Cause I'm gonna kill him for flarking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the cortex and find me. Just doing some uh, preparation work, I guess. Well, we should prepare faster. Promise is to be realized here. Converted will be flocking in to witness it. Are we the only new arrivals? Scott! Cosmos Towers shut down! Are you That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well for the dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. Cosmo is on their side. Getting to the Cortex could be a lot harder. Just because the tower shut down doesn't mean Cosmo is too. Last time we were here, he knocked out me, Gamora, and Drax, and Lady Hellbender's bounty hunters, like it was nothing. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an excess of it stored here. what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The same thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere really stunk sometimes, but... Clark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but these crooks were suspicious of anyone giving them anything for free. You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throat can be very convincing. They got Flark and Faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. To siphon Faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. Everyone quiet. We got company. Branch out, please! Get ready to die! They do not fear death. The warlock should have 
destroyed them! We can only ever count on the real Guardians! <laughs> More batteries the deeper we go. 100 units says they're tied to the fulfillment. The priest said that they were bringing... They can't raise the dead, especially after we save Nikki. When we are done here, we will need to tell a Rhapsodist about these adventures. Oh, what? What? They are the keepers of Katafian lore. This will be an epic tale. Over here! Looks like we can squeeze through. We must be close to Mantlo's bar. Can you see it? Not really. There's a lot of debris in the way. There is no way through this wall. Could be a bunch of wackos just waiting for us on the other side. Hey, oh! Peter! Well, that didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones that can do this, right? Clear back here, Quill. Looks like you're gonna have to yank a chunk free from this side, though. Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos. Look at her. This is personal, Quill. I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. Wonder if any of these fortune tellers saw this coming. There's been no sign of Goldie Bronze since he leapt from our ship. Adam Warlock. Might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. Or got picked up by a wandering creep squad. Or maybe he was lying about which side he was on and is just waiting to attack us. The Warlock carries an old grudge. Not align himself with the Grand Duke Flyer. Yeah, what do we need the Golden Boy for anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. My memory is flawless. I'm just an optimist. Ha! You know why we need Warlock to stop Magus' space magic ritual? We don't know space magic. Yeah, because that ain't a real thing. Yeah. Hey, check it out. We got bad guys. We're dropping like flies soon enough. Have a nice day! <laughs> Sorry to cut and run! Now that's the this looks like a dead end. For some more than others. What must it feel like to have one's soul torn in two? Oh. The Emporium used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign, the Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Oh yeah? Never saw me coming, that's for sure. Had no idea I'd bust food out of there. <laughs> Hero? <laughs> Don't get all mushy on me. Rockets talked about these. He's gonna love this. Wonder if Cosmo's gonna keep control of the station once this mess is sorted. You fear he will lose his command. He wouldn't have many defenses left to push back a second invasion. I ain't never been on the dog's good side, but the thought of new management? Eh, don't sit right. Looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there. That's not gonna work. Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. 
Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Eh, maybe Raker's trying to reanimate the Celestial Head, bring it back to life? Perhaps he wishes to turn it into a ship. Ah, this thing's deader than dead. It ain't coming back and it ain't jumping through no hyperspace. You say Celestials are powered by hyperspace. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find a girl and stop whatever they are doing. Then we'll have to be ready for them to try and stop us. The converted ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Which is pretty ironic when you think about it. That's not the way to Cosmos. Might be something down there we can use. True. <laughs> ah, the seedy underbelly, seedy underbelly. You know, they used to run a poacher's ring out of here. Is that what that smell was? Yep, rotting beasts from Maclu 4. Was really hoping there'd be hover bikes down here. Why would there be? No outrageous parking fees, for one. And two, sometimes you want to drop something off without anyone else seeing. Can you squeeze in there? Yeah, let's see where it goes. So if there were hover bikes down here? We could have hopped on and zipped down to the lower city. Me and Groot used to do it all the time. There you go. Should be safe. Should be. Thank Flark these boots are waterproof. anything? Dead end. And let's continue before Nikki becomes a dead end too. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. Ain't we just one big happy Flarkin family? She's not garbage. Behold the power of the light! Zaya Magnati!
You good? Never better. Yep, definitely not good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? So more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flarked up church? Of course not, just... Just what, Peter? I don't know. Breathe. Every minute we waste. We don't have time to breathe. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This isn't about Thanos. It's about Nikki and what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me, my sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe, maybe she wouldn't be dead. Whoa, what? Nebula's dead? How? By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The Nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation starter. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have... What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted she loves us. I did not. You did? You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I could take. We accept you, Gamora Zenwubri. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. But say we go stop a nut job cult leader. Yes.
Forces they can bring in here. We gotta shut it down. Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. So, Gamora. Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. We keep saying bridge, and it's starting to sound like a made up word. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. Prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. I'm more than ready. Really? A Faith Force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. down on me that's it Peter let's go we need to get out of here before Raker shows up all right get ahead let's book it I was not the target <laughs> guardians of the galaxy the matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station and you shall not stop she hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely her servant. Kind of hard to be the light with that dark monster thingy inside of her. Blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise. But you will believe when it returns you from death's cold clutches. remains forever. Now cease this stubborn senselessness before it reaps a ruinous reward. Ruinous. Oops. Oh, no! 
on both counts! He means we can't stay here! On this we are agreed! My great strength goes underutilized! <laughs> in the butt. Did you see the look on his face? It was all like, oh, my gilded glutes. Regal rare. His perfect posterior. His champion cheeks. Well, 
Unleash me onto these fools! I wish we the assist! We approach the Dark's Tower! Hold on, Nikki! We're coming! This faith-filled fanatic got the point! Is that what they call a spiritual experience? <laughs> Finally, I think they're giving up. Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge. I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh, right below us. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's one way down. The best way. Look! They're still at it! At least our guy seems to be winning. Anyone see a way across? Yeah, we can't do nothing with that sign in the way, Quill. Ba -ba -ba boom baby! You sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. Like we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. Warlock better not kill Raker before I get to him. I am eager to pull that sorcerer's insides to the outside. Well, you gotta be farking kidding me. Don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that wasn't wrong. You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back, holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. We won't have to worry about that. I know I can get through to Nikki. This is Raker's doing, not hers. I won't give up on her either. Nor will I. Yeah, and neither will the Grand Unicorn. You will regret it. How dumb are these Flarknards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise, too. That endless hunger. Oh, yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to ask him yourself. This isn't going to be well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. This is being exposed to the promise! No! Get away from my dog! Brace yourself! Not going into the light this time, little buddy. Feels like I've been shooting that big butt for hours. It is as venerable as it is large. We must break it. Nobody kicks the dog on my watch. Oh, you're in trouble now. Feel my wrath. The solution is 
simple. We must take it out first. We gotta keep them off first. of cheating scum nuts in my time, Quill. Same here. But the way these creeps cheat is flarkin' criminal. They keep it up. They're gonna win this fight in no time. No way these creeps are gonna win. Not against us. We're wanted men. And women. We're renegades. We roll the dice because we're not afraid. And because we like to. That's the spirit. We gotta fight to survive. Who's with me? Wise words, Peter. Bring it on! You said. Chop up the Mora! This is an historic battle! The last step! Well done, you two! A tactfully executed maneuver! Move, stand up! What are you doing? He's one of them now. He's our friend. Yeah, so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this Fleabag's head. Maybe he doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... <laughs> It's too late. Wait! He's still in there. I can hear him. I hear only barking. Focus your mind. He's there. Ah, uh. oh, fuck it. Just shoot the mutt. Uh. Easy, bud. Friends, remember? He's beautiful. Cosmo knows, knows never, never lie. lie. Yeah, buddy. It's me. It's all of us. Where is Cosmos smell? The smell of nowhere. Where else would we be, fur brain? His mind is addled. Or he is simply a dog. He doesn't see us. He's still in the promise. Cosmo, where are you? What do you see? Blue sky and cars to chase. Cosmo is big. Duma, how you see? Home. He's talking about Earth. Smell of fresh grass. Feeling of dirt between paws. No psychic burden. Just walkies for going. And bone for fetching. If you missed your home planet, could you not simply return at any time? Not at time that matters. Same reason Katadian, not go home. Earth was great. Cats to chase, trees to be on. But the point is, I get it. We all get homesick. But you gotta bury that bone and move on. Pyotr Quill does not know what he ask. He's like fleas, biting and biting, no matter how much Cosmo scratch. Oh, you Terrans have a real thing for your home planet. What's one hunk of rock over another? It's not about rock. 
is about what Cosmo had on Rogue. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You... had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. What about your puppies, Cosmo? They're your family. Cosmo Young? Or... They're here, man. And they're counting on you. For love. For protection. But... Humans call for Cosmo to heal. Must be loyal. Those pups actually need you. Be loyal to them. Don't abandon them in space the way you were. Cosmo would never. But you have. They're somewhere here on nowhere, maybe needing your help right now. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Peter Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions. You must bite them with all your might. Be gone. Cosmo not fetch your eyes. That's it, buddy. You tell him. Nowhere is Cosmo home be. His pups, his family. We protect it all cost. Sick him, boy. <sighs> Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. Cosmo's got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. Drax, how do you keep from breaking your hands smashing through everything? All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Attacking scratch snatchers. Gah! Cosmo changed the codes. I guess so. All right, people. Let's find another way through. Perhaps you entered the code incorrectly. I have made the same mistake. With those sausage fingers? Of course you have. These nimble digits don't make mistakes. <laughs>